It is so good to be greeting you from our sanctuary. No matter where we are, we are about to worship the God of the universe, the God that created the planet that we stand on and flung the stars into space and sent his son Jesus. And so we'll prepare for worship the way that we always have on Sunday mornings, with a moment of silent prayer to prepare our hearts. Let us pray. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the 11th chapter, starting at the 16th verse. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating or drinking, and they said he had a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. And they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Then he began to reproach the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done, because they did not repent. Woe to you, courtesan. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you and you, Capernaum. Will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that on that day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. At this, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me. All you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If we want the kingdom of God to break into our own lives, the lives of those that we love, it has to start with change. There is no excuse for not repenting. Not in the eyes of Jesus. Because if we merely want the blessings of the kingdom of God, we want to know that we're okay with God or that he'll bless us. But we're not willing to make the change necessary or to repent. What we're essentially saying is, I don't want God, and I don't want him to actually have me. I just want what he can do for me. And the kingdom of God is not something we can have without that change in repentance. Stay with me to the end of the 
the sermon, though, don't check out at halfway. We have to make the change. We have to do the work of repentance. We can't say, I don't want God, and I don't want God to have me. I just want God's stuff. Because if you follow today's gospel all the way to the end, this is what Jesus says. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal me, to reveal him. Hear these words of Jesus for those who are willing to embrace repentance for the kingdom. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the thing about the whole message Jesus is saying. That the doorway into the kingdom of God is repentance, and it is change. And not mere behavioral change, a willingness to let God have us completely. And when we are willing to be open to God and repent, what we receive is rest. When we take the yoke of Jesus upon ourselves, he says, you will find rest for your soul. Because as your master and as your savior, he is humble of heart and gentle. And so I encourage you, beloved, run into the kingdom of God. Everything that is awaiting you there is amazing. Freedom. Any of the guilt that you carry, you will find confidence. Any of the shame you might carry, any of the ways that sins committed against you have wounded you, you can find healing from. The ways that you struggle with sin, you can find freedom from. In the kingdom of God, relationships can be reconciled. Injustices can be set right. Run into the kingdom of God through the door of repentance. Because when we enter the kingdom of God through repentance, We find rest. Praise the Lord. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacrifice to God. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Our God, you reign forever. Our hope, our strong deliverer. You are the everlasting God. The ever. not faint You do.
Defender 